What is poppin' in my chop on my bagel bites? It is Mr. Bagel Bites here, bringing another VGC team video. And in this one, we're bringing a team super heavily. Might as well be copy paste if we're gonna be honest. Team that was used by David uh, Carrier, or Carrer. I'm not sure how to pronounce that properly, and I'm sorry if I butchered that. But he used it to take second place at the Players' Cup uh, tournament, Players' Cup 2 tournament recently here, where he faced a uh, Wolfie in the finals, and he did lose, but the team is super cool. And I'm hoping to kind of get to showcase it here by... I'm going to lead Gigas, honestly. Gigas feels really strong here with Weezing. Weezing with the Shooka Berry. Definitely a lot of cool stuff here. And I feel like we could even lead Sun in the back and bring our own opposing Sun. Hmm. I guess I'm only afraid... I think I think what I'll do is I'll bring Urshifu... Or bring uh, Venusaur. Because it beats quite a bit of that team. And then Regilecki for the final slot. Although we could bring Torkoal as body press and it's max special defense. We could bring out Urshifu to actually get Sucker Punch priority late game. I kind of like that better. Yeah, I think that I think that could be good. And if you guys are excited for the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on Mr. Bagel Bites content. It super helps out the channel and myself, so I hope you consider hitting those. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the first battle. I like the whole biker aesthetic he's got going on there. The Hoenn Champ Landorus. Alright. So I think he probably doubles up into Weezing. Actually, Gigas has speeds. I'm actually just going to go for Max Max Hailstorm here into Landorus. And, uh, and Will-O-Wisp the... And Willow Wisp the Urshifu, I think. Because unless it's scarfed, we should outspeed. Ooh, it might be scarfed. Or is that how the is that how the turns work where if you are faster, you Dynamax first, or is it just random? Regardless, since he Dynamaxed, we should be faster if he is scarfed. Because he loses the scarf bonus. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think I think that's how it's supposed to work. Is the faster Pokemon Dynamaxes first, kind of like how terrains and stuff work. But if you um, but if you're Scarfed, you'll lose your bonus. But I think you'll still look faster because we're Jolly, so we we should be on speed in here. There's so much health. Where you is such a monster. Yep, we got speed. We're good. Max Quake should pick up or uh, Max Hailstorm should pick up the KO here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We won't outspeed the Urshifu, but ideally we'll at least get the Will-O-Wisp off. We took care of his Dynamax, which is honestly really huge. He might even target down Regigigas. Oh, he's actually CCing. Ooh, what a guy. <laughs> so he's going to cut his defense and special defense there. We missed the Will-O-Wisp. Okay. Gigas takes some hail damage. Urshifu potentially breaking Sash there. And we'll get hit by Hail. Okay. But I think Landorus and Urshifu are probably... I think we're his fastest Mons. I don't think he brought, like, Dragapult or anything. So I think Gigas wins in terms of speed for the rest of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he's Torkoal. <laughs> are we faster than Torkoal? Oh, right, that's still shut off, so he doesn't get his... He doesn't get his weather. I'm gonna go for Max Quake into Torkoal. And uh, go for another Will-O-Wisp, trying to get that to connect, I think. We could go for Sludge Bomb, it might pick up the KO, but he's going to resist it. And we might be able to at least pick up a second KO right here, on the Torkoal. Yeah. And give uh, Weezing a nice plus one in special defense. Plus it'll lower his uh, stats further if he goes for another close combat. He might be locked into it. So if we burn him, he's just stuck. We really need will o to connect, though. Yeah. He might be banded. He's at a minus two now, which is cool. He does knock out our... Uh, our big boy, though. But we got the thumbnail, so that's all that matters. Don't miss. So now he's minus two defenses. And burned. Sick. Love it. You'll love to see it. Take some hail damage. We'll take some hail damage. And he will take some burn damage. Everything helps. 
Um, we ideally are faster. Venusaur won't be. Ideally, I guess we're betting on him being banded. But we're going to be speed tying. I'd rather go into Venusaur. Venusaur. Okay. I like the aesthetic that these two poison Pokemon... He did have Venusaur in the back as well. Nice luxury ball, bro. Um, he resists uh, Sludge Bomb, right? Or no, wait. I... Why did I think the fighting resisted uh, poison? I guess I'm wrong. I'm going to double up into Urshifu here, I think. Do I taunt the Venusaur in lieu of Sleep Powder? Or do I just try and KO? I think I need to I think I need to taunt here. Urshifu okay, so he's not banded, so I'm glad that that's a thing, I guess. Weezing tanks that super well. Minus two. Yeah, we're gonna pick up the KO there. Yeah, good stuff. He's going for Weather Ball, so this is actually Ice. So that sucks. <laughs> so Venusaur might... Ooh, he lives. Reveals the Life Orb. We'll Taunt here, so he can't Sleep Powder the Urshifu if it comes to it. But I think we just win next turn now. Go down to like 5? 8. Okay. I wonder if we're speed tying Venusaur's. I think we're I think we're timid. Um, I'll go for we'll go for Sludge Bomb because it's stab. Just go for two Sludge Bombs here. He can't protect either now that we've taunted, which is another thing if he does carry it. Oh, he, we actually are speed tying. We're plus one in special defense, so we might actually live this since he's not stab. Eh? Nope, he's gonna crit. You hate to see it. It's okay. We have Urshifu in the back that's banded. And we're gonna hit with a Sludge Bomb here. Pretty big sludge bomb too. And we should go down to heal here, I think. Yeah. But we can just click sucker punch and win the game, I believe. If for some if it was if it is like scarfed. Wait, can it be scarfed or did it swap? I'm just gonna click sucker punch regardless, because it can't not attack us at some point. Bonk. <laughs> Good stuff, Urshiku. And we get the crit. The crit super didn't matter. <laughs> Good start, though. Good job. Good game, Drizzle. Oh. Let's hit the like button for Drizzle, boys. Can we hit 115 likes? Because Drizzle's number 115? I know it's not going to happen, but... You guys would be amazing. If we hit 115 likes, I will do a cover of the Pokemon theme song on the channel. So, feel free to share it and spread around. I'll do it. I swear I will. <laughs> but it has to be done from like two weeks from posting. If we can get it two weeks from posting, I'll do a cover of the Pokemon theme song on the channel. But yeah, 115 in two weeks. Make it happen. And let's go ahead and get into the second battle. I don't. Who? You know, this feels like another Gigas game. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Um, yeah, this honestly just feels like another Gigas game. Like, right? What's he do? <laughs> What's he doing against Gigas? Uh, I'm gonna bring Lecky. Lecky in the back this time. Um, I really like Venusaur, but I don't think Venusaur is great here. It matches up against a couple of their things really well, but, like, also loses to them at the same time. So it's kind of like an awkward position. Torkoal's cool? If we were, like, Specs Torkoal, but this is, like, the Body Press Burning Jealousy Torkoal. Which actually might not be bad. If we had Trick Room up, I, I'd consider using it if we if they, like, proc weakness policy, but Torkoal's just too slow. I'm gonna bring Urshifu to potentially get, like, a Sucker Punch or Wicked Blow onto the Metagross late game, depending on how the game's looking. I haven't seen Togekiss in quite some time, and I've been pretty excited about it, because I hate matchups against Togekiss, but... I don't know. I feel like he leads the Urshifu. I feel like there's no realm where he doesn't lead the Urshifu in, like... Togekiss, maybe? 
That wouldn't be a bad lead, actually, against this team. It would be, like, Urshifu Togekiss. If you're, like, banded Urshifu, ideally you might be able to pick up the KO on Regigigas while we have to, like, dedicate a turn to hitting... Um, dedicate a turn to hitting the Togekiss. And then pick up a KO on the second turn. I guess that's, like, the turn of events. But I guess on the other hand, we can just, like, max strike, lower the speed, and, like, go from there. Okay, not at all what I expected. But not bad, either. So we're going to shut off Intimidate and Berserk. I think I'm just going to protect, honestly, this turn and, like, go for Max Strike. Or we could go for, like, Max Quake, raise our special defense and target down here. But, like, you could swap into... Ugh, I'd, hate, I'd hate to get overly predicted and, like, get swapped in on a Togekiss in the second slot. <laughs> uh, I'm willing to go for Max Strike here and just hit Protect this turn. And scout what he goes for. Because I think he'll go for a uh, potential... Um, potential Max Airstream into Weezing to try and get it off the field and cripple the Gigas. Because crippling Gigas is super important. Another thing, too, the other reason I didn't want to go for Max Quake is if we somehow didn't pick up the KO any Burning Jealousies, that'd be so bad. He's not actually Dynamaxing at all. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so we, I think we just pick up KO here, honestly. Okay. I'm not going to be upset about KOing a bird on turn 1 for free. And lowering Incineroar's speed so that Weezing should outspeed it next turn. Oh! What?! How did I not know that Incineroar gets Will-O-Wisp? What? How have I never seen that on a set, ever? I guess you don't technically need it, because you passively, like... Just... What? Does it really? I gotta, I gotta check this afterwards, um... Uh... Da -da 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 -da. We could, like, I, I guess we max Quake here. We're in a much more awkward position than we were a second ago. I don't know if we can pick up the KO. Oh, that's so bad. Actually, I think what I might do to guarantee that we outspeed is go for another max strike, but target here and uh, Will-O-Wisp here. And then we'll get... Because clear body's not active right now. Does it really get Will-O-Wisp? <laughs> I, I've never seen anyone use it, so I guess I just never paid it any mind, because I guess with Intimidate you don't need to, but... Wow, that's so crazy. I wonder if that means it's sashed. So go for Max Strike here. I still have a ton of damage to Incineroar, even with the burn. We really need to connect with Will-O-Wisp here, though. Okay. It's actually Berry. Citrus? I mean, I assume it just uses, like, Bulldoze here. The proc weakness policy, but since we burned it, we're gonna have a little bit of an advantage here. <laughs> oh, it's Lumberry? It's not even weakness policy? What? <laughs> we'll trade berries here. That's insane. So this is... We should survive this. Uh, but I don't know if we survive whatever the Incineroar does. That was crazy. Parting shot. Okay. So he's just really crippling our uh, Gigas right now. Luckily we can go for another... Uh, another Will-O-Wisp next turn now that we know that it's Lumberry and we can fire off attacks into it pretty freely now. It's Urshifu. Gigas is still a threat, dude. Let's see. We have Regilecki for Urshifu. So I'm not too worried about that. So I definitely need to focus on the Metagross. I'm going to go for Max Quake here. And, uh... Um... And Will-O-Wisp the Urshifu, actually. Yeah. 
because I think the Metagross could protect here. So I want to try and prepare for that since it's Lumberry. Oh man, he predicted that and is going for get to get the burn. Or oh man, what a good turn for him. What a really good turn for him, actually. I'm gonna take some more burn damage. And use our last turn at Dynamax. Uh, Metagross is still at a minus one speed, though, so I think Weezing will outspeed. I'm gonna go for um, High Horsepower into the Incineroar slot and try and fire off another Willow Wisp into Metagross since it protected. If we get it burned, I think we still win. Like, honestly, unless he just gets a lot of lucky crits. Did he just zoom in on, like, two different angles of my butt on the game? I think it did. It knows. Let's see. He's actually faking out. He finally reveals that. He didn't do that turn one. So he's doubling up into Weezing this turn. We connect. Show me big crits. That's bad. <laughs> That's real bad. Okay. So this is his last turn of Dynamax. Okay. We gain a nice plus one in speed. It's gonna shut off our. Uh... Okay. Let's shut off our neutral gas. So Gigas is super weak right now. So Gigas is like minus three attack and burned. <laughs> um. Yeah, not a good position for Gigas. But we can swap in Urshifu. What was his backbone again? It's Water Urshifu, I think. Yeah. So none of his Pokemon want to take a Wicked Blow from a Bandit Urshifu. I really like that Incineroar set, though. It's interesting. Do I even want to bother swapping, honestly? I'm slow started. My attack's technically like a minus six right now, I think, with slow start. Um, I'd cut it back to only minus quad. Um, but Gigas could potentially just take a free hit. I'm going to go for high horsepower again into the same slot since I know that he has Urshifu in the back, I think. Yeah. And then just go for a wicked blow and lock into it on Metagross since he can't protect. Let's go for it. Let's see how much damage this does. It's gonna knock it out of the god dang game. You can will o wisp, but like we crit automatically, so it doesn't matter. We might even pick up the KO if we crit here. <laughs> You're doing your best, Gigas. <laughs> He's flare blitzing? Okay. He'll take residual, okay. Oh, so Gigas is actually still out speeding, even though we uh yeah, okay. Cool. Bandit. Get, okay, we have Regilecki in the back, so we I think we win. I'll target Incineroar here, and I'll lock Wicked Blow still into that slot. Yeah, that's fine. Even though he resists it, Regilecki, we just need to break his Sash, and then Regilecki can win. I think we're okay. I just don't like the position we're in. <laughs> It could be better. I wonder if he Flare Blitz again. We should have Thunder Punched, actually. Okay, so we're either winning the speed tire or we're faster. Okay, that's plenty of damage. Oh, he's actually Surging Striking. Is that into uh, Gig? No, it's into Urshifu. Do we live this? No, never mind. I really hope that he... Uh, I really hope that he uses Flare Blitz again. Okay, we're gonna pick up the KO here. We connect. Sweet. I think in one turn we get our act together too. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but we win though. We can just bring in Regilecki, which is why we wanted to bring it in case it was Water Urshifu too. What up? That should be the game. Lock Thunder Punch. And Thunderbolt. And that should cinch the game. Yep. 
Good game, man. Had me on the back foot. That Incineroar set really threw me off my rhythm. But Gigas is just a... Oh, a monster. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video. Like I said, 115 likes for 115 Drizzle. Uh, and I'll drop the Pokemon theme cover. But thank you guys so much. Seriously, you guys are amazing. And as always, catch you later.